I have $40,000 in credit card debt for zero. Two incomes just isn't enough money anymore. Me and my husband are both in our 30s. We make the most money we've ever made before, and we still struggled between every single paycheck. We spent hours every single Friday when we would get paid trying to figure out what we could cut back, trying to budget every penny we had so that we would make it to the next paycheck. The grocery store is too expensive. Vehicles are too expensive. Vacations are too expensive. Houses are too expensive. Two incomes is just not enough anymore in today's world. I have a college degree in physical therapy, and when I got good grades and went to college and did all the right things, it was supposed to solve all those financial problems. That's what everybody told me. It was going to solve all my problems. It didn't, and they lied. So I don't know about you, but... It seems like even with working and trying to grow my income, it feels like it's a struggle to keep up with the prices of things today. And it's not that I feel completely broke, but I also kind of feel broke. When I say I'm broke, that don't mean I ain't got no money. That mean I know you finna ask me for something and I ain't got no money for you. So I'm not the only one feeling this way. I have found a number of people just sharing about their struggles with the current economy, the amount of money that you have, even if you've had increases over the course of the past couple of years, you're finding a difficulty with keeping up with the inflation of everything else because maybe you've gotten a 10, 15, 20, 25K increase in the last couple of years. Well, the price of things have gone up maybe a thousand percent. <laughs> I'm just throwing numbers out, but it definitely feels like rent has been extreme with just finding a decent place to live in a decent safe area. I'm seeing other people talk about the price of groceries. I've definitely been feeling that and just a host of a number of things that people are paying for that's supposed to be just, you know, basic things, but now it feels like a luxury to buy decent groceries, have a decent place to live, et cetera, et cetera. I am so tired of feeling helpless as a parent. Yes, my kids are grown adults. My oldest is 28, my youngest is 25. And I thought by teaching them what I learned, which is you work hard, you get a good job, you're gonna get the things in life that you need, right? Worked for me, why wouldn't it work for them? Because it doesn't, because the world has changed, all right? And now I feel like I see them struggling. And before my generation comes at me, yes, I understand struggling is a part of life. We all struggle, but there's a difference between struggling and drowning. So we struggled and it was tough, but you know what? We made it. We knew there was a light at the end of the tunnel with our struggle. It seems like kids today, no matter how much they struggle, they just get further and further down the water into the drowning point. When I was their age, I was making less than $10 an hour and I could afford to live on my own. Now you have to be making six figures your salary to get a decent tiny little place to live so what the fuck is going on and how do we help them as parents i told my son all you have to do is work hard go to college or join the military like i did um he went to college got his degree got a full-time job he moved back in with me right when he graduated from college because he said, hey, mom, as soon as I get a job, which was within two weeks of him getting out of college, maybe take me two months and I'll save up enough money for me to move out. Okay, cool. It's been 10 months. He has saved almost every dime and still can't afford to live. Why are one bedroom studio apartments almost $2,000 a month? So I don't even think that there's even classes anymore. There used to be upper class, middle class, lower class. It's literally turning into the ultra wealthy and then everybody else is just like, that's what is happening. And then I told him, hey, when you turn 25, at least your car insurance will go down. Hell no. He turned 25 and his car insurance went up $150. I tell him, you know, if you need health insurance, get a good job. He did, has health insurance. He has had a medical emergency this week. Had to go to the emergency room twice. A, he had to go to the emergency room because he couldn't get anybody to see him with the health insurance that he had. So he had to go to an emergency room now he's out money for that too. It seems like you can never get ahead. My daughter, I told her all you have to do because she wanted to buy her own house. My daughter worked six days a week, 12 hours a day to save up enough for this down payment. Finally got this house. She's paying double what I'm paying for my mortgage, but her loan was the same amount. And then her mortgage company, after she's already moved in, said, oh, by the way, we forgot to tell you that you need this type of coverage, which we forgot in the beginning. That's an extra $200 you'd be paying a month. And all they see when they come home is they watch social media, kids their age on lavish vacations with all this money and nothing to do, all these social media influencers, because we value those types of things over hard workers. We will pay them $10,000, but you'll work 40 hours a week. You can't afford it. Next in line. Hi, I just have this bottle of water and this candle. Okay, your total is $64.95. What? 
$64.95. No, I heard you. How is it $64.95? I only got two things. The water is $3, the candle is $60, and there's a $1.95 sale tax. Why is the candle $60? This is a gluten-free, gender-neutral candle, and it's made out of horse milk. Do you want it or not? Because you're holding up the line. <sighs> okay, I'll take it. We do have a $5 coupon you can use. Yes, thank you. Okay, your new total is $69.95. Wait, the price went up. Isn't a coupon supposed to reduce the price? I never said it would reduce the price. I could take it off if you want, but you'll have to wait for my manager. She's on break. She'll be back in an hour. No, it's fine. I'm not waiting an hour. Would you like to donate $10 to starving children in America? Girl, give me my bag. Starving children in America? So I thought that last skit was just hilarious and so telling of what's happening right now now the ending where they're asking for a donation i feel this way about the donations when you go to the grocery store and also tips for basic services i'm not talking about when you get your door dash i'm not talking about you know when you get your hair done or you get a massage and you tip i'm talking about you go pick up an order a person does their job and puts the food in the plate, gives it to you, and there is now this request for a tip. A tip for what? You didn't serve me. You literally did your job, which was barely put the food that I requested you to put onto the plate and check me out. In some places, you're not even you're not even getting checked out. You're checking your own stuff out. What am I tipping for? I'm doing half of the work. Anyway, let me know if y'all relate to this cost of things increasing. And on top of that, you're asked to donate every time and tip for things that you're not even getting value for. What are we doing this for? Anyway, that's just my thoughts. You can disagree. You can agree. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. This is what I'm struggling with in America right now in my 20s. Why is everything so expensive? Why am I making more money waitressing than I would make using my college degree? I barely have a life. I have two days off and I work Wednesday to Sunday doubling just to pay my bills. At 22 years old, all of my bills are in my name. I have no help. How are y'all affording housing? In Myrtle Beach, a one-bedroom apartment is $1,500. Bullshit. How are y'all getting insurance, going to the doctor, getting medicine? And then some of us are trying to be TikTok influencers. Who knows where that's going to get me? Me and my boyfriend are saving, but we barely see each other during the week. And it feels like we're working our asses off for nothing. Do we need to move somewhere for a better job opportunity that we don't know about? Do any of y'all really know what you want to do with your life right now? It is so scary being in America right now. I don't want to work anymore because I work and I work in every day very hard and I never had money. So many people have friends with resources or a supportive family network. They find us spouse they inherit a house Ooh, bars they get insurance money ain't none of that shit coming to me so instead i am asking all of my followers to send me a dollar because now i have to let them repossess this car i have to i have no other choice okay the loan on this car was sixteen thousand dollars and in two years i've gotten that bitch down to 15 and a fucking half kelly blue book value eight thousand dollars for this car i am stuck there's no way in hell i'm gonna be able to pay this thing off and i already wasn't making enough money so my insurance lapsed so my license was suspended again and what the fuck good is there in going to work if i get arrested on the way so i gotta let go of the car do i know where i'm gonna live no do i know where i'm gonna work no do i know how i'm gonna get there no do i have all my things in a storage unit right now yes do i have anything else planned or understood absolutely not the government already wants $2,000 for me from the last time I got caught driving without a fucking license. And I'm supposed to go to court tomorrow and tell them what exactly. Put me on a payment plan for the income that I'm going to have as I continue to drive without a license so I can get to work? No, ma'am. Your Honor, you can't draw blood from a fucking stone. You're never going to get that fucking money. I'm never going to get that money. I'm asking all of my followers to send me a dollar. I'm not asking for money though. What I'm asking for is opportunity. I'm hoping to find a moped for less than $1,000, which is all I can really hope for. The rest of this is a fucking dream. Again, luck. Imagine me having any. Totally different timeline. At two grand, I could definitely get a moped and maybe even find some temporary shelter. At four grand, I could do that and fix my license. At 10, maybe I could fix my license and find a car to live in from a private seller. Maybe like a Ford E-Series or something like that. 
If I got even half of what I'm asking for, I'd be saved from the situation entirely. And if I got it all, I'd never have to ask for money again. At least not without providing a service. <laughs> Woo! By then! <laughs> Biden had it up to here, bitch. Because motherfuckers love to say, oh, the president ain't got no control over the gas prices. The president don't control this, that, and the third. What in the fuck do he control then, huh? Because I be goddamn the fall on a motherfucking country, and I ain't got no say-so over the prices. This shit is getting out of hand. It's been out of hand. We in a recession, bitch. I feel very much recessed. I feel resuscitated as fuck. Like, I can't afford none of this shit. I can't even afford to be outside right now. I can't afford this. To be talking to y'all right now, I can't afford inflation. I go to motherfucking family dollar to get smoking some dog food. This shit used to be like eight. 99 cent now it's 214 bitch inflation i can't even afford to feed my dog i'm a single mother smoky ain't got no damn daddy i'm doing this shit by myself i ain't got no doggy with or nothing like i can't do this i can't afford how y'all living out here i can't do this so that last clip one thing that she mentioned was about feeding her pet her dog and something that has held me up from getting a pet has been the cost of things and not feeling like you know worst case scenario Let's say I get a cat, my cat needs some type of surgery, and then I have to pay for it. I'm like, well, I don't even know what I'm going to do when I need surgery and I got to pay for it, you know? Um, and so just thinking about those things and feeding the, feeding, you know, your pets and making sure that the pet has a comfortable life. Like, listen, I really do feel like that is a big cost that people are not considering. And I know we're, we're like, hey, everyone, we love our pets. However, <laughs> I feel like having a pet is a rich person's thing. Now it's everyone's thing. Everyone rescues animals. I think it's a very wholesome thing to do. But at the same time, what about us humans? I'm not saying this to be a hater on the pets. I listen, I love animals. But at the same time, I'm being realistic and saying, listen, financially, this is the added cost. Hey, I don't know who needs to hear this. But if you poor, or if you broke, and you going through something, just listen up. You want to talk about being from the trenches? That's me. Being broke should motivate you to go get some money. It is so hard being broke. You shouldn't even want to be broke no more. If you are working a job that you don't like right now, and this goes for anybody, keep working that job until you find another job. This world is ran by money. You cannot operate life without having money. Bro, if you're working right now, every single check you get at least save $75 or to $100 or more. Every single check. Because when you broke, nobody going to care about you and nobody going to think about you. Put your money up so you can save yourself and your future. I know how it feels to be broke. I know how it feels to be down bad, bro. You're not the only one going through it. But have y'all noticed that we have normalized poverty? There was a guy on TikTok talking about how he doesn't like the fact that he's 50 years old and he has to have a roommate because things are so expensive. And the tone deaf comments of people saying things such as, oh, well, you have to live below your means or, oh, you need to just go ahead and get an RV. Not realizing that the RVs and the tiny homes, the trailers, which were the solutions to the problems are now also unaffordable. Just a few years ago, tiny homes started to become popular and they were priced at about 30, 40,000. Currently, tiny homes start at double that amount right now. All I'm trying to say is there's a bigger problem at hand and telling people that they need to just completely deprive themselves of basic necessities such as a home. Y'all don't think that's weird? Being broke is expensive, man. Being broke costs you a lot of stuff. It's costing you a lot more than you realize. I know the economy is literal shit right now, but why does everything have to just keep getting so expensive and like literally so unaffordable for so many people? It's ridiculous. I get my nails done. Yes, I took some time off. Yes, it is like a luxury that I can afford to get my nails done. But it's going to the point that it's like a little bit crazy, like $85 to get French tips. Like I don't get a manicure. I don't get anything crazy. $85. Like what is happening? I know things have to like go up in price, you know, with whatever. Inflation, are you kidding me? It should not be this bad. Even with like apartments, everybody wants to increase apartments and the uh, rent, you're kidding. Nobody can afford it. My salary does not increase just because you want to increase rent. I will have the creators in the comment section as usual. Please go if you're on TikTok go out and support them follow them if you can a lot of the creators are trying to add to their income for getting views on tiktok so go support them hopefully this just shows a different light but also i want to highlight the conversations that real people are having because i do feel like spaces like this one on youtube you kind of get the same thing with the algorithm so let's just hear some different voices <laughs> 